doing the pruning. But where does that guidance come from? Because I know in the past, it was the primary point of discussion for probably 20 different meetings, some of which you actually made presentations to. So can you help me with that? Where does that standard come from? And what are we going to be asking our subcontractors to do? We, uh, where that standard comes from, I mean, you, you keep talking about 10 feet, and I think that's probably appropriate because if you ask me what is the industry standard, I would say it's 10 feet. There are some exceptions, but if you were to survey all the utilities, even, even those up in Maryland where you are now, uh, 10 feet is pretty normal. 10 feet comes from a lot of considerations. Uh, for instance, OSHA prohibits any employee of any business from working inside that 10 feet unless they are trained to, to work around primary lines. And so if there were no other reason, you know, electric utilities basically are taking on the responsibility with inside the 10 feet. And so I think that's a, a practical uh, limitation. If your goal is to deliver good reliability, uh, to take into consideration the movement of limbs and storms, you have taken into consideration lightning hitting trees and not wanting it to jump onto the electric wires and get into our electric system, uh, trying to keep squirrels out of our out of, off of our lines and off of our transformers. I think the industry has said 10 feet is a rational standard when you take all that into consideration. Where does that come from? I think that comes from, uh, it's not in a contract, it comes from management. Uh, the same decision that says uh, trim back six feet or four feet. And, we, and you can go all around Winter Park and see places where depending on the nature of the limb, it's three or four feet, and depending on the nature of other limbs, it's more than three or four feet. And that's why we want to be non-specific about it. But uh, it's, a, it's a management uh, uh, prerogative, just like burying a, a power line to a minimum depth of 36 inches. I mean, those are industry kinds of standards. They're the kind of responsibilities that I believe as your utility director that you have given me, you've given the city manager, to operate the system reliably, reliably and safely. So I guess that's the short answer. Well, well, Jerry, I just have two questions, and I'll give them to you both at one time in case um, it's difficult for us to, to, to time. I can't tell how well you can hear me. But my question is, uh, when you give direction to our subcontractors, Obviously, you are not going to be able to stand out under every tree. Drew is not going to be able to be under every tree. What is the standard that you are going to direct our subcontractors to use? That's my first question. And, and um, the second question would be, to what standards were the trees that were recently cut on Winter Park Road cut to? Uh, I suspect, uh, well, let me answer the first question first. Uh, if I direct them to cut the minimum amount on a tree-by-tree -tree basis to achieve reliability, safety, and uh, care for the tree, I mean, care for the tree comes from a ANSI A300 and also ISA best management practices. I presume that Drew, who is a certified arborist and has 25 years of experience in this industry, is going to be on the job and she's going to make appropriate judgments in that regard. With regard to the uh, Winter Park Road trees, my guess that in general terms they were cut to about a 10 foot standard. But I will tell you this, that most of the trimming on Winter Park Road, the, extre the extremeness of the pruning was restorative in nature and not necessarily designed to give me the clearance that I would like to have from the primary wire. In other words, once the decision is made, we got to prune this limb, where does ANSI A300 say to prune that limb? Where does ISA uh, best management practices say to prune that limb? In those cases, dictated fairly severe pruning. Because they had to cut back to get past the rot. They had, well, they had to get back past the rot, but they had to get back to the point where ANSI A300 and ISA best practices says this is the appropriate point to prove the limit. Well, Jerry, out of our 5,000 right-of-way trees, how many of those trees do you believe would need that comparable level of pruning? I, 
I cannot answer that question. I can tell you that as a part of the inventory uh, effort that we've undertaken in the last few weeks, we have identified a total of 9,000 tree conflicts in our primary. Some of that's rear lots, some of it's in the, in the, in the public rights of way. If you believe the 5,000 number that we've all carried around in our minds for uh, a period of time, then that would mean that 4,000 of the conflicts are rear lot. I don't know whether that's true or not. All I know is at least at this point we have 9,000 conflicts. Any other questions, Commissioner Cooper? Well, I just want to make sure that I understand that what we have seen on Lair Park Road is what we can kind of expect to see if we go with the 10-foot industry standard and cut to these two management practices. I want people to think something less severe is going to come out of this approval tonight because I do appreciate the prioritization. I do appreciate the waiting and the, the work that's gone into that. But I also think that it's only fair that when we finish with this decision, everyone understands that in 2004, we had a four-foot commission approval. In 2012, our commission approval is going to say 10-foot standard and it's not that, that's not saying that, so I, I'm not sure where you're getting that from. Yeah, Commissioner, I, Commissioner Cooper, I, 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 I think the great fear that I have is going forth and saying, yes, we're going to do 10 feet, because that's, that's not what I've heard this evening. I've heard that we're going to follow best practice, and that literally is going to vary from tree to tree. So I, I want to manage expectations. The trees that were trimmed on Winter Garden Road, and that's my way home, so I, I go past there twice a day. And, and yeah, they got chopped. It was like my dad used to cut my hair. <laughs> Put the ball on your head and just shave everything that stuck out. But they were taken back to a place. Those are very, very, very old, and, and they're hanging on, you know, laurel oaks that aren't long for the world. They're very sick, all of them. And, and so we, what was done wasn't pretty, but what was done, I, I believe, needed to be done to those specific trees. If you go elsewhere in the city and see where we have some live oaks, they're much sturdier, and, and, the, and the distance you have to go to get the clearances are, are less than we had to do on Winter Garden Road. Secondly, you have to have, and, I, and I've wrestled with this, but in my profession, you always have to fall back to what's the standard when, when the attorneys show up. And, and you default to either FDOT or you default to whatever the standard of your profession might be. And in this profession, it's ISNA and it's ISA. And so we as a community have to be able to pass a good straight face test and say, yes, we've done in good practice what the industry asks. And I'm not saying four foot is right or wrong, but it, it wasn't based on anything. It was based on a, a, a preference at the time. And it, it, to, to get hung up on whether it's four or 10, uh, I think gets us away from what really needs to be done. And that, that's to, to effectively and, and with preservation in mind, manage our tree canopy within Winter Park. And that's, that's I think, the ultimate goal. And, and and, and Tom, I really do appreciate that. I, I really do appreciate that. And that's the reason I think the results of the trimming is the only thing that I have to base my thoughts on. And that's why I was asking Jerry. And I, Jerry, I feel very comfortable. If you say to me that you are going to direct our subcontractors to take the minimum amount necessary to provide reliability and meet those two standards. And that's the trick, because you got to understand the only thing the community has to judge based on is the results of the pruning. And the results of the pruning today, for whatever reason, and maybe it is because the trees are old, they were pruned improperly the first time, there are a myriad of reasons. But the fact of the matter is the results are not acceptable to the community. And that's the key. If we have to make some trade-off relative to reliability, I think people are willing to do that. 
And, and that's why I ask you, is that what we can anticipate on our 5,000 right away trees? That, and, and that's all, the only question I was saying. And I would you, go so far as to say dead trees are not within our community's best interest either. So I, I think trimming and I would agree with national that. Yes, trees are, are not. So, uh, will the commission on this matter? You're asking actually, Mayor, you're I would like a response from Jerry, please, well, relative to my question about minimal amount. I'm, I'm, uh, Chris Cooper and Randy, I'm going to try that one because what what we what we're telling you is yes, there are going to be some trees that require 10 feet. There's going to be some trees that require one feet or two feet. There's going to be some trees that require three feet, four feet, five feet. On a tree by tree basis, we're going to take the minimum amount necessary. Uh, Perfect. Those are the words I wanted to hear. Thank you. I'd like to move. Uh, Commissioner Sprinkle, you have the floor. I, I think uh, what you asked us for is to approve what you brought forward. I'd like to move that, that approval. Is that? Yes, you're moving the approval of the of the proposed ranking methodology right. and the clearance strategy according to national standards. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Is there a second to that? I'll second that. Thank you. Commissioner uh, Leary, you have a question? Or? No, sir. I was just going to make that You're going to make a motion to do the same thing? Thank you. <laughs> Commission discussion. Open the floor for public comment. Any citizens wishing to speak about this matter? Seeing none, I'll close the floor for public comment. Already vote? I just want to know Jerry's got to stop referring to himself as the butcher of the tree. <laughs> People have been known to take things out of context. I, I would like to think of you as the tree steward. So. Thank you for your service and thank you. Along with the whole committee, this is phenomenal. Great job. This is, this is benchmark capable work for other cities to follow. Yep. Um, already vote? Quick read the roll. Commissioner Leary? Yes. Commissioner Sprinkle? Yes. Commissioner Cooper? Yes. Commissioner McNaghan. Yes. Mayor Bradley. Yes. Uh, item uh, 10C. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The last meeting, uh, Commissioner Sprinkle 